Hi, thank you for joining me for another episode of The Top Brass. I know that I have mentioned to everybody that I am putting out an ebook soon on events, special events specifically for nonprofit organizations, and it has taken me much longer than I thought. So I wanted to supplement that um, and give everybody a little bit from the book uh, just to tide you over until I can complete it. And this one I'm calling the buyout option. And it is something that it's not my own idea. I heard about it um, in a different version several years ago. And so I wanted to share it with my nonprofit leader connections who may be planning special events or any fundraiser type of event, a ticketed event. Um, this thing that I heard of a long time ago was called the plateless dinner. And I was so jealous when I heard about this because I was sitting there as the sole staff member in a nonprofit organization running around like a chicken with my head cut off. And as some of you well know, um, when you are the only staff member and you happen to have a board that's sort of like, now you see me, now you don't, it's a lot of hard work putting on a black tie fundraiser gala when you're doing most of the work and you're spending hours and hours and hours and hours on one particular event. So I was so jealous when I heard about the platelet dinner because I'm sitting there going, I'm, I'm all over the place scattered trying to put this event together and trying to make sure it all happens when it's supposed to happen. And there's some evil genius sitting in his office writing letters to his fundraisers and collecting money over the dinner they're not going to have. <laughs> um, I don't know who came up with that, but I thought it was genius. And basically it was sort of a really fancy invitation, just like I was doing for my black tie event um, that was being mailed out to their guests or potential guests, their donors, um, that basically said, you know, here's the fabulous dinner that we're not gonna cater. <laughs> and the spectacular band that we're not gonna book. And the fantastic items you would have seen at the silent auction that we're not going to hold. Um, and so in lieu of spending tens of thousands of dollars on this event, we would really, really love it if you would buy a ticket and not show up. And then we can just spend our time and our resources on our mission. And I thought, oh. <laughs> if I could sell that to my board. Um, didn't happen. However, I, that idea has always stuck in the back of my head. So I'm going to enhance that for you now. For those of you who have ticketed events, are you enhancing your events, especially right now? Um, you know, events shut down for a year and a half or so, basically, because of COVID. Um, everybody needed to be social distanced. We were keeping extra care to take care of one another health-wise and kind of stay away from each other. Um, and then as those restrictions lifted, Events were coming back and people sort of split. There were some people who were just dying to get back out, get me out of quarantine, get me around people. I, I want events, I need events. And there were others who were still sort of, I don't really know if I wanna be in crowds and close to other people right now. Um, and so as we're starting to come and evolve out of all of that, there's still some care that's being taken that wasn't before. So I implore you to take advantage of that as somebody who is trying to sell tickets to an event or raise funds for an event. Um, it doesn't have to be the platelet dinner that all of a sudden you're just not going to have the event that you always had, but maybe you have what I'm calling the buyout option. Maybe you have something that says, um, in lieu of coming, we're still going to support you. So here's my money for the ticket, but don't count on my attendance, um, which is great because, you know, a lot of people, they can't make it to events. They might not be comfortable with events. Maybe they love your event and they come every year, but this year the date falls on a time that they're not available. So give them that option that says, you know what, I still support you. I can't come, but I still support you. Here's money for my ticket, but don't give me the ticket. Um, and have fun with it. I, I always say like, I've done marketing for so long. You can't really market to me. I don't even hear it. I don't register it. And if I do, I'm usually rolling my eyes. So I'm a sucker for anyone who can make me laugh. So have fun with it. Give people something enjoyable to think about, to laugh about, a reason to send you money. Um, I came up with a couple of ideas of things you can call it sort of like, you know, paying for your regrets. Because you know, when you, you're gonna attend and when you can't, you call it your regrets. So let's pay for those regrets. Um, or maybe you're buying the buy. Um, you know, you, you're buying your pass, um, but you have to buy that. And so, you know, send a letter that basically says like, we would love it if you came. We would love it even more if you didn't come. So send us money either way. Um, you know, you might want, not want to be so snippy about it like that, but come up with something amusing. Some way that says, you know what, we're really going to miss you if you don't make it to our event. But if you send us money, we won't miss you that much. Um, you know, just 
have a good time, but give people the option to support you, even if they can't make it to your event, or even if they don't want to come to the event, you know what, we could still use the funds because this is why we're doing this event and tell them this is our mission. We hold this event because it helps us raise funds so that we can do X, Y, and Z. Um, explain it, but also make it enjoyable, make it fun. Um, if you can get away with it, make it the plateless dinner because it's a lot less work. All right, guys, thanks so much. See you next time.